Hey yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Mason. We're back for another haircut tutorial. You know what I'm saying? This one is a very simple tutorial. It's how to do a temp fade and it's going to be a high temp fade. So right now I'm setting in my guideline. I'm setting it right underneath the vertical bars because I do not want a C cup on this haircut. I do not want a C cup on this haircut and I'm doing the same thing, same guidelines every side. And so right now I'm coming in with my Babyliss Gold FX Clippers. And I'm going in with my lever open. I'm going up a full inch. And now I'm going halfway. And then I'm going to go fully closed to completely take out that guideline. Now I'm coming in with my number one and a half fully open. And I'm going up and I'm just debulking. And now I'm going in with my number one and a half guard on my, you know, Babyliss. It's the same thing as the wall. But I'm just closing the lever all the way and now I'm just starting to go with the grain to kind of smooth it out and make it a smooth transi transition from short hair to long hair. And now I have my number one guard. I'm going with my lever fully open. I'm going right underneath that one and a half. And now I'm attacking with my uh, number one guard fully closed. And these, these steps are really simple. It's not. It's probably about four steps in this fade process. Now I have my zero guard, which is the 1 16th, and I'm going in with my lever fully open. Then I go halfway, then I go fully closed. And then to end out the fade process, I like to come in with my lever fully open and just attack in detail. You see me going a lot with the grain, and I'm not really placing a blade straight on the head. I'm just using the corner of the blade to take out some bulk and some bulky areas. And of course, the fade is not going to be as clean as after when you shape it up and go back in detail because then you can make the fade really pop. So just use different techniques like clipper over comb and things like that and use raking techniques and just debulking techniques just to make sure that your that your uh, temp fade is really just, you know, really pops. Especially for a high temp you want to make sure that it's, it's a you know what i'm saying that the uh fade is really popping so that make sure make sure you get that skin line out because that can ruin a whole temp fade if you still have the skin line in there and so since it's the temp fade i'm not going to show you both sides but i'll just show you the front and the back so on the back of the head i start off with the same steps i like to go on my level fully open and it's the same exact fading process um yeah don't get lost in it man it's okay if you get you know lost a little bit but just don't make any mistakes that will mess up the haircut completely and if you mess it up completely just give them a bald head bro it's like nah <laughs> but um yeah i am doing a giveaway if you're watching this video and you're subscribed to me you are you can't be entered into the giveaway all you have to do is go on my instagram it's gonna be right here in the right hand corner just type that in on instagram m-a-s-o-c-u-t-z like all my pictures and just comment when you're done and you're entered. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 970 right now, I believe. So once I hit 1,000, I will be going live on YouTube and Instagram and I will be doing a giveaway. So everybody that entered has a chance to win. And I'm giving away the Slimline Pro GTX, the, the clipper. I mean, the trimmer. But yeah. Really, with cut of hair, man, you just want to make sure you take your time and just understand, just understand really how to cut hair and stuff like that. And uh, understand the light to dark situations, okay? So right now, I'm just shaping up around his ear. I like to start at the, like, right behind his ear and just work my way down to the back of his neck and just try to keep, keep it at a, you know, straight line. That's what I really try to do. And you got to make sure that your client is kind of positioned in the right. His head or the client's head hit him or her, whoever you cut it. Just make sure that the head is positioned correctly to um, allow you to get that straight line all the way across. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it can kind of go in. You know what I'm saying? Towards the back of the neck. Sometimes the line can go in. And that's because the client did not keep put his head all the way down. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that they put their head down so you don't get a curve in your, in your neckline. So right now for the shape up, I like to comb down the hair and I just comb it down all the all the little hair and stuff like that. And I just like to go start shaping up. So he does have a shape up to to the point where you kind of have to create the shape up. So uh, what I like to do, I like to start in the middle, work my way to my right side. If I'm standing on his right side, if I'm standing on his left side, I mean. No, 
know if I'm standing on his life left side, I like to cut to the right side of me. But if I'm standing on his right side, I like to cut to the left side of me. So wherever the line, wherever the closest corner is, that's what I like to work towards. And then I, I go back and I just do the same thing for the other side. And if you're having problems with your shape ups being straightened like that, I'm not perfect also. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on that. But one thing you can do is literally stand in front of your client and just make it as straight as you can get it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a mirror in the house, if you cut in the bathroom, if you cut in, in the garage, you know what I'm saying? You don't have access to a mirror. Just uh, stand in front of your client and try to make it as, as straight as you can. Don't overcompensate. I don't think that's the word, but don't do too much on one corner. You know what I'm saying? Just just take your time and try to make it work. I know, man. My vocabulary is actually really bad when it comes to barber. Something wrong with me, man. I just don't. I really don't know the terminology for. You know, I gotta I gotta read. I gotta read the whole dictionary, man. I've been saying that for years, but yeah. I just like to attack the line, and we are going to use enhancements on this haircut. So I'm just going to make sure it's sharp as possible naturally, and then after that, I'll attack it with the enhancements. And still, you can see on that left taper, I still have a lot more detailing to do. Like, it's a line stuck in there and all that. But I like to use I like to use the Topic hair fibers. I used to use Enhanced, the Rich Barber hair fibers. This is the same thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I kind of like using the Topic because it's, it's in the area. The supply guy sells. They don't sell, like, Rich Barber, the Rich Barber and all that stuff. So I just use topic hair fibers and as you can see i'm detailing i'm using my wall seniors and they just have the lid on it they just have a clipper lid on it the tone 45 lid and i use the tone 45 battery and after you put on the enhancements you want to make sure you comb out the enhancements because sometimes when you spray it in one spot it can become clumped up and you don't want it to be like having clumps of enhancements so uh just comb out the hair and spread out the enhancements evenly and then just start shaping up and look how clean that looks look at it man look at luke man so inspirational it's like nah <laughs> but yeah this is just a 10 minute tutorial it's a little underneath 10 minutes if you sat around and waited and watched all the way to 10 minutes i appreciate that you know what i'm saying i don't have anything for you but just these gems that i'm dropping off you know what i'm saying um yeah man thanks for everybody that's been watching me supporting me we had 970 subscribers man good grief we about to hit a thousand bro a thousand is really 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 close and so i'm using my slimline gtx those are the clippers that i'm gonna give away i'm using them and this this video is a little old so don't be like oh bro he using the clippers he about to give away yeah i'm using them i bought them bro but once you get them you know what i'm saying i'll deep clean them i'll set them and all that stuff whoever wins I hope whoever wins this competition really needs the Clippers. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't really need them and you win, man, give them to somebody else, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just pass them on the favor. And hopefully that starts your, your barbering career. Because what started my career was I want to clip off of YouTube also. And I was like, man, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, bro. I felt like it was God that allowed me to win. Well, I'm not going to say I felt like I know it was God. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I have a lot more video ideas coming out for y'all. It's just right now, I don't know what's going on. I'm just sticking to tutorials right now. But I definitely have more stuff coming out for y'all. And look, I'm hitting them with the razor, making sure everything is sharp. You know what I'm saying? Laying your climb back if you have that. If you don't, you can use the razor and you can go down with the razor. You don't need to go up all the time. So you don't need to stand behind the client. You can actually stand in front of the client and go on a downward motion with the razor. You know what I'm saying? Just to be a little more careful. And just clean up your canvas after you're done with your work. But YouTube, this is the cut. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. You know, all that good stuff, man. I do appreciate all y'all for watching. This is a real simple haircut. You can do it in about 30 minutes. It took me about like 40 minutes because I was talking too much. But yeah, y'all have a good one. Peace.